What's up friends and welcome back to more time city of the damned So in the last playthrough we did a human mercenaries playthrough the war pigs and I've been going back and forth and agonizing over whether We're gonna play as chaos or Skaven <clears throat> Well, I think it's got to be Skaven the previous playthrough was you know humanoids yeah! oh! Honestly, I think the Skaven are the most interesting out of all of the various factions. So choose your warband. The Skaven of Clan Eshin are accomplished masters of stealth and murder. Long ago, they learned the art of assassination in distant lands. Now they are among the most feared of the great clans of the Under Empire. These silent killers serve as the eyes and ears of Skavendom, infiltrating the realms of other races and spying upon them from the shadows. Striking from ambush, utterly without mercy and honor, Endowed with a ferocious speed and viciousness far in excess of any human, the Skaven are hideous foes. The chance to increase their own prestige inside the clan makes the warbands infesting Mordheim even more ruthless, ruthless and dangerous. So this is interesting. Okay, so I can actually start at rank 5. Alright. Much, much warpstone. Clan Eshin made trouble pain to keep other clans away. Must be swift silent, not let other clans know, no. We take Fred's all warpstone. Smart wise Skaven may take much power rank with warpstone. Keep steel from stupid man things and take bring to Under Empire. Many man things in Mold High Nest. Too. All want take warpstone and die, die. Sister things from river hide warpstone under four nest. Cult things take warpstone to demon hole. Soldier things take warpstone away to barren things. All must die, die. Skaven with much warpstone rise fast quick and clan become big great chief, much slaves, much breeders, much power become warlord of whole borough maybe. Best quick trail to rank power is swear sir great murder lord Snicket. Much wise, much strong. Under name of clan ashes revered fear night lord. Skaven Blight, they know of Murder Lord Snicket, great mighty Snicket, best of all assassin lords. Maybe becomes Deathmaster someday. And he's smart to serve Snicket and share his glory. Much helping Snicket, no crush all rivals. Why smart Skaven work with Filch, yes? Not never hear learn about Filch Sharp Tail. Hmm? Filch Sharp Tail, greatest killer in all clanation. Filch strangled Wilhelm the Baron thing and make it look like hungry troll ate him. Filch drowned Warlord Kripnik after his ship sink fighting dragon thing. <laughs> Pox Keeper Vile Breath choke on old plague when Filch drops big rock on his tail. Not never he'll learn about Filch. <laughs> Best assassin is one nobody knows. Be proud honor to work for Filch. Filch will let you find much, much worse stone for him. Great, great honor. <laughs> Such a cool character, Filch Sharp Tail. So I have to say, I haven't actually started a campaign at level 5 like yet, so what does that mean? Oh, so everything's already unlocked. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. But you know what? I mean, like in the previous campaign, you saw how I started at rank 0. And we grinded all the way up to, the, to level 9. I don't think there's really much value in doing that again. It will just turn the whole campaign playthrough into quite a long affair. What the hell? Let's start at level 5, and I'm pretty sure the game will, will scale up in difficulty appropriately. So, right, first things first. Warband. Rename Warband. The Ghost Blades. So, the basic story behind the Ghost Blades is the Outcast Skaven. All of us are grey. We're all grey furs. So every single one of the Skaven are going to be grey. And we're going to wear either pure black or white as our uniform. Yeah, colour 7 looks pretty good. Or 
10 looks good too. 7 it is. Okay, cool. So. Well, now I've got to do some thinking about the setup. i got to say, of all the Skaven, the Black Skaven are my favorite. They come with it with a default 10% uh, armor pierce. The Night Runners are kind of good. Like the fact that they get up to 20 agility is obviously unbelievable. But I always find that my Night Runners tend to go down first. I think it's because of the skill that they have. At whenever they jump down or climb, they get extra three meters movement, which is, of course, it's great. But often they way out ahead of the rest of the pack and they get engaged first and they get killed first. But I think what we're going to do is, I've played a bit of Skaven before, and as good as the Warp God are, with their poison resistance and their wordstone resistance, they can only really be built to be uh, parrying type of rats. And we saw how weak that can be in the human playthrough. So I'm going to go with only Verminkin, because they can all become quite nice and dodgy. And once we give them uh, the dodge ability and the bravery skill and maybe a magic resistance skill, they can be quite tough as well. What I've really got to decide is what hero setup I want. I absolutely want a Rat Ogre. But I think I might have two different setups and just try them together because, like, the Rat Ogres are awesome. But what I wanted to try with the Skaven this season is we're going to go just for a crit, a crit and dodge build. We're going to get as many crits as we can. That's going to be weaker in the early game because that's going to you know have lower crit numbers but in the later game when we start critting more reliably we're going to be super super strong and the main way to do that is to use the skill here let's grab ourselves a black skaven perfect killer is great but it's this skill here art of silent death increases melee, melee critical chance by five when using daggers and fighting claws and then of course swarm as well when another ally is engaged with the same target increase melee hit chance by five and crit a chance by 10 for the Black Skaven. So you give them Fighting Claws, they're going to have plus 10 crit chance, plus 10 crit chance from Silent Death and from Swarm. They'll have Avoid and they will probably have Bravery as well. They're going to have... And then I'll only give them enough weapon skill as I would need for whatever any of these that I might want. And I don't think I would actually want any of them. So we're just going to max accuracy. Wait. Uh... Active skills, Black Hunger, I don't know. Let's just go for a passive crit-based build. Okay, so we're going to need at least 9 weapon skills. So we'll get to 9 weapon skill first. And go for level 2 Swarm. The thing is, though, if I'm going to go for a Rat Ogre, then I'm going to have to have a, uh, a Warlock. Because the Warlock uh, will use Guidance. So I think actually to start we will have two Black Skaven and one Night Runner. And I think I do actually want to have one Eshin Sorcerer. So that if two of these guys are injured then the Rat Ogre can come in. The Sorcerer is so important because he uses Guidance on the Ogre. But now the Rat's, uh, what's it? The Rat Sorcerer spells are super interesting. Wither is really, really powerful. Stat penalty increases to six. So it reduces strength, agility, and toughness by up to six. That is insanely strong. I mean, that lowers dodge by 30%. It lowers base hit points. It lowers damage. It's really, really strong. And then Sorcerer's Curse is the lower armor absorption penalty. So it's even better than Curse of Rust. It even gives dodge and parry chance increase as well. The other interesting uh, skill that I was thinking of is Enshrouding Mist. Because then we could make all of our rats just melee fighters and then if there's enemy archers shooting at us you use in shrouding mists anyone who enters gains a debuff increases range resistance by up to 50 percent at level two reduces melee resistance by 15 and perceptions but skaven are immune to the melee resistance so that that's actually a ridiculously good skill so that actually makes it easier to hit enemies that are in enshrouding mists and it makes your guys much harder to hit with ranged weapons. I think we're going to go for Wither and Enshrouding Mists. So, you guys who want to get involved, give me your names to add and I'll rename these rats after you. Please think of a rat, rat sort of themed, or Skaven themed uh, name for yourself. Skin is going to be grey. Everyone's going to be grey. 
Yes. If you see the ghost blades, you're already dead. Let's see, customization, seven skin, gray with pimples. I think weapon-wise, I want my Black Skaven to be using fighting claws, if we have any fighting claws. Whoa, hang on. There's even a purple one available right from the start. Interesting. Okay, but it looks like no fighting claws available yet, which is fair enough. The dodge is only 45%. What do you got for us? Give me a helmet. And ranged skills. Only, ballistic skills only three. Warp lock, fine. I love these Black Skaven, they are so good. Warp locks, clothing, helmet. Madcaps, a healing draft, interesting. I think I'm going to build the Warlock pretty much the same as I did with my human Warlock. It's their job to carry the healing and the antidote, stuff like that. One thing I'm quite interested in that I'm thinking about of uh, doing with my uh, Night Runner, that uh, young guy, I kind of want to build him to be like a gutter runner in the Warhammer universe. So I was thinking uh, intelligence skills, knowledge Mordheim level 2, uh, but his intelligence doesn't go high enough. I was thinking of giving him a ridiculous amount of movement, so when you're on those missions where you have to uh, get the enemy idle, then your Night Runner could do that, but he doesn't have the intelligence for it. Instead, we'll do so with the Eshen Sorcerer. I did briefly consider making him a Warplock uh, shooting type of uh, rat fighter. But the thing is, he's just going to be all about casting spells. And if I get in Shrouding Mists, then I won't be able to as easily hit my enemies. The Sorcerer's Course is really good, though. Gaze of the Horned Rat, Warp Lightning, uh, its allies and enemies. Counter maximum offense points by up to three. Hmm. Anyways, I, th I think I'll, I'm going to build him to be a ranged fighter and I'll just try to work around the, the Enshrouding Mist. There is one thing I need to get some clarity on though, and that is whether or not if you land a crit, it does or doesn't actually go through armor absorption. I hope that's the case, because then that's going to be pretty good for us. The thing is, if we're not going to have an armor solution, such as that, um, what's it called again? The Sorcerer's Curse, then as long as we crit often enough, we should be fine. Okay, let's go Madcaps. Store, let's go inventory store crimson shade okay and then of course we are going to buy as many leveled up characters as we can as soon as they're available right uh, preset seven skin gray i think that look great Yes, with the grey fur. Like albino rats. They look terrifying, I think. Weapon-wise, these verminkin aren't that impressive. They don't do a lot of damage. Overall, I kind of have to accept that I'm going for a build that's going to be weak in the early game. I'm just going to have to stick it out and hope I can work around that. All right. The Ghost Blades. Let's quickly pick our veteran skills and get into the first mission. Commander, I think, is very good. I want to take all of these skills that are going to maximize the amount of money that I get. And also, Librarian is really good. Each day, 15% chance to get Mastery Formula. I think that's super important. We do know that once we get to Act 2, Mission 3, we're going to need the increased stupidity chance enchantment. Otherwise, we can't really get through that. 
The other one I really like is Renowned because we're going to be trying to hire as many high level rats as we can, especially when it comes to a rat ogre. That's one of the first things we're going to save up for. Healing isn't that bad. Skills and spells by 10%, that's a good way to save money. And then I think we will take the, uh, where's it, the Scouting Explorer. And then last but not least, what should we go for? Healer, Hagler, Merchant. I think let's go for additional day to fulfill wordstone requests because I'm going to try to keep the bloat in our lineup as low as possible. I want to have just an A team like this. It'll be just these guys and the Rat Ogre and maybe one more Night Runner. In fact, I may as well hire another Night Runner because the only time we are going to use the Warlock is when he is out with the Ogre. So it'll be either this setup or some combination of these two will be injured and then it'll be that dude plus the ogre but let's hang on for the ogre right now and see when there's new guys to be hired if we can't get like a level three or level five ogre well guys there are a lot of rats available so let me know what uh what character you want to be and give your names weapon wise what are we going to do for these lads uh, can i give them a second weapon no, that is going to be dead, dead standard. Let's get into it. Let's see, normal average. Normal average. This one is decent. Deploys tight, the other one strike teams. Normal poor. Normal poor. Normal very poor. I think this is our best bet. I'm on the night blades. A spy has reported that an enemy warband is hurrying to recover a secret cache of equipment in the area. With this information, you are able to beat them to the location and deploy patrols to watch for the enemy's arrival. Okay, so we are grouped up. Now we're the ones who spread out, actually. I would have preferred if all of my rats were grouped up. Wasn't the map opening? Okay. Hmm. I suppose it doesn't really matter. weird uh sorry controls don't enable gamepad what map open map yeah middle mouse that should be working That's not right. Okay, the middle mouse is not being read. Ah, there you go. Okay, for a second I thought the map wasn't working. Right, so, nice big group of wordstone right there. Awesome. And I actually think these three rats might be able to grab some of that and get out before being caught by these chaos guys. But you know what? It's the first mission. Let's not take that much of a risk. Let's have everyone group up around here. We can allow these Chaos to grab this Wordstone here, and then we'll kill them and take that Wordstone off of them. Freaking awesome start. There it is. It's west and then north. God, I love the Skaven. Look how fast they are. The movement is incredible. It's 
Now, do these Skaven need to go help carry all of this wordstone? Probably. Now, hang on. There's one, two, three, four pieces there. They actually don't. Let's send these lads into the buildings here and grab the, some of this stuff. Maybe what these guys do is they grab that wordstone, dump it into the... Uh, into the cart and then the other two groups meet up around here i think that's actually a better option let's see i should be close i'm having some weirdness with them with the map not opening and closing that's odd i've had that happen before Nice, purple healing draft. Um, I'm actually not going to be ambushing for a lot of these rats because I don't want them running towards the enemy and away from their backup. Only if they're like hanging around corners are we going to uh, we're going to ambush. And speaking of ambush, I think taking the improved ambush skill on all of my rats is going to be important because. With 8 base movement, we can out-ambush every single enemy except other Skaven. So we are going to have the ambush advantage a lot. Okay, quick vermin hide. I have found in the past, though, that my Skaven can struggle with damage. So my leader is going to take the war cry skill, just to, just to buff our damage a bit. I'm thinking about doing a poison build as well, but... I mean... Like, the poison is good, especially the war poison, which lowers the enemy's offense points. But I find that it's not reliable enough. A lot of the tougher enemies who you would most want to apply it to are immune to the poison, you know, like your, your impressives. And all the undead are almost all the undead are immune anyway. I think we better up going for a crit build. Okay, now you lads up here. Mm, it's so tempting. Maybe the Black Skaven could nick some of that and then run all the way around. Let's just take a look. I mean, if we can spot these guys, we can decide then if we want to grab that wordstone or not. It's up there on the high ground for us. But these lads are almost certainly going to be on us on the next turn. I think we, we can probably make a play for that wordstone that's up there. But the stuff that's lower down is too risky to go for. I'm just going to chuck one extra point of strength on all, on all of the rats so that they can have uh, a third inventory slot and then they're just going to max out their uh, agility for the dodge. Damn, can't reach that shit. At least if we have to ambush someone coming up the stairs there, we should have space behind us that we can uh, actually disengage if we need to. And backup actually isn't that far away. It's another beauty of the Skaven. As they move so fast, they can reinforce each other nice and quick. You know what, I think we're not going to build any ranged fighters. Or am I though? No, I don't know, I can't decide. The Warlock. Yep. We build the Warlock as a Warplock pistol user. Let's see, this is Bazrin Scar, the Black Skaven.
these three up here need to be super careful. We are in danger of being swarmed by the enemy chaos guys. got open inventory so let's go ahead here and look for this treasure chest that's in there it's actually really cool that we can start at level five see we're finding blues right away and I've played from level zero before so I know I can do it and you know within like a dozen or so missions you're up to level five anyway so you might as well start at level five I don't have any issue with it I have a feeling I'm going to regret moving my rats up to that other bit of wordstone to the north. We just got to grab this wordstone and get the fuck out of there. Luckily we have high initiative in almost all of the, the chaos, so as long as they don't attack us this turn, this guy has the biggest danger of getting onto my Skaven up here. That's him there, I think. Off in the distance. We'll see how the money goes as, as the missions go on and time goes on and more units get available for hire. If I can hire a level 3 to 5 Rat Ogre, I will. And if I can hire a level 3 to 5 Warlock, I'll do so. Getting levels on the Warlocks is quite hard because they're so weak in the beginning. Okay, looks like I might just get away with having a these rats round up there. Has started. Ow. First attack of the campaign, it's a miss. Not encouraging. Rathmar, he is not one of the guys who's marked, but I can't disengage. Attack, fail. So, because I'm getting very little weapon skill, I'm going to need to get insult on my heroics as soon as I can. Shit. He's going to be really hard to deal with because our lads are all level zero, so our resistance to terror and fear only 40 only 44 percent good lord he hits hard see madcaps is tempting fuck it i'm actually happy to use this because even if i get knocked down and i become a megalomaniac or i go amok that's totally fine i'm, I'm not going to be using ranged weapons on him anyway Okay, did the weeping poison work? It looked like it might have. Okay, Burek, drop off that stuff and go reinforce your leader quickly. Same theory with the madcaps on the night runner as well. If he jumps down that side, he should be able to attack that warlock. But already we can see how unbelievably uh, fragile our rats are. Do I dare nip down there and see if I can grab... Oh, I can't jump down there. Okay. It's risky. It kind of looks like all the enemies have moved away anyways. Fuck it. Ow. 
I, I expect that our average wordstone collection number is going to be higher with the, uh, the vermin, uh, the, the, the ratkin, than it would be with the humans. And uh, can you so great with these missions sometimes? If it's a wordstone rush, even if you end up losing the fight, you'd be surprised how often you can actually still get all your rats uh, back to the back to the cart together. And you still get your secondary objective, even if you don't uh, manage to get the primary objective. See so now, Ur's fast blade is going to really struggle to resist the terror. 29%, 29%. Well, he's got to try. I mean, we, we, we have to try get this thing killed as quick as we can. That's super low chance. Nice. I think I'm actually going to give Insult Devil 2 onto my Heroics. Now, I'm not going to engage with Frickneth, because I know that my leader guy is going to act before that monster and kill him. He needs like one or two more hits and then he's dead. So in the building just across the way here, there's more treasure to be had. God, I love the Skaven. Sneaky fast we are, yes! Ugh, nailed it. One thing that is immediately apparent is how much weaker we are in terms of hit points though. I actually need to take a bit of time to think about how I'm going to change up my tactics. I think I certainly need to be a lot less willing to charge in and take the fight to the enemy. I think I need to actually play towards the way that the Skaven would fight, which is more ambush intensive and more defensive and keep everyone together. I mean, like, that really is the big advantage we have, is how we can bring our numbers to bear quickly. Speaking of numbers, I'm going to leave my two guys up here because our other little vermin kin is down there trying to grab the rest of that uh, wordstone. If he can grab it, then the three of these rats can get away and loop around to the center of the map. This mutant though worries me. Oh god. Nice. Good surprise. Dodge. Miss. Oof. Good lord. Ouch. Rashiel, he's not marked. Oh fuck, here we go. Trap! Oh yes, the trap! Oh god. Raban, he's not even one of the marked guys. Okay, so now these two guys need to get the hell away from there. That's what I'm talking about, how weak the rats are. My first instinct when the map started was has started. to move those three rats away, and I, I should have followed that instinct. Okay, Ur's fast blade. Fucking get him. 55 dodge success, unlucky. Oh, weeping poison for the win. Oh, but fuck, is another one. Damn it. Where is he going? Success with the fear, excellent. Oh, ouch, Jesus. Uriant, he's one of the marked lads, isn't he? Yes, with the stun. Let's hope that is a portent of things to come. Okay, so probably a couple more hits and he should be dead. I am going to disengage here, though. 
Arm bands those are no good. Let's just get some distance. In fact, I can try and run down that purple treasure, wherever it is. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Now, that bad monster dude is stunned. So he will be 100% hit. But I believe we're still going to have to roll for terror and fear. Come on, Burak Vermenhide, get him. Fear test fail, but a charge in should be 100% hit. Good. And then if the other vermin hide, vermin kin, sorry, that is nearby, if he charges in, he should be able to, even though he gets terrified, he should be able to kill him. Oh, that is so big. Okay, that was one of the marked guys, Uriant. Objective completed. Objectives updated. Dorgan and Guntram. Okay, it's these two nerds here. I doubt we're going to get them. So what do I do here? I think just kind of hang around and see where the rest of the enemies go. Another bit of treasure, where is it? Aha! Purple Bugman's beautiful. Although I've put myself in a pretty dangerous position. Just hope that no one can get at me. Okay, you two need to get the hell away from here. And actually, you can go join the leader. Who's right in that little building there. Ow! In fact, there he is. I don't want my leader getting attacked. So we'll set up a little nasty little ambush in here. Burek Skittershank. Hopefully he can get in range. Finish off this warlock. Oh, come on. Oh, damn. I should have moved. Fuck. Details, 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 details. I'm literally going to block my leader in there so he can't be killed. We should probably ha only have to get one or two more kills. And then we should win the mission. I mean, yes, one of our rats got knocked down, but that's fine. It's 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 early game. We could just hire another level zero. Now, how do I get in there? Where are our rats? Through this building here. Damn it! Good. Please miss. Please miss. Ow. Thorgar. He is not one of the marked. Good lord. And the Chaos and the Skaven are very much on the opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to how they deal their damage. In fact, like the rats are more, more or less damaging attacks that are more likely to crit whereas this, the the chaos do two-handed weapon and you know dual wielding at attacks good god
I'm not actually certain that starting at level 5 makes the game easier from the beginning. If anything, I think it could be making it more difficult. A new round has started. Yes, failure all alone, you bastard. We will try to get the secondary objective if we can, but I'm not going to be that phased if I don't get it. I need wordstone and I need levels. Nice, a blue spear. Although you can't dual wield a spear. Nice, I love these fighting claws, they're so good. I believe they have armor by bypass. Yeah. 6%, so that should go as high as 18% for level 3s. That's actually awesome. So a black skaven using fighting claws will have 28 armor bypass. I really can't help here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, charge in, Adam. Good. And that surprised him, so there's the plus 10 chance to dodge because his weapon is slow. And then there's the minus 10% chance to hit from the surprise. I think I need to try help here. How do I get there? Just jump straight down, I reckon. I might even want to think about making a run for their cart. If I grab the idol, that's going to help us shatter their morale, but it's too, it's too risky, I think. Fuck, so we're going to have to keep on rolling for fear and terror. Oof, that's ruining us. I need to buy as much Bugman's Ale as I can get my hands on. I could take courage on my leader unit, but I don't want to use the skill points for that. I want my leader units to be as dangerous as possible, just in terms of how they can, you know, fight and do damage. Okay, so where is this Black Skaven? I think he can jump through here and help fight on the, on the right hand side. we get through oh god I love the movement but here's the problem though like I mean I could charge in here am I better off ambushing I see I don't know Here's the problem that I have. They're all slower, so all of these guys are going to get to go now on this next turn. I don't think I put Kelbear's Creep ambushing over there. I think I put him ambushing over this side. So that if that Norseman comes along this side, I can ambush him. But I don't want to ambush and then put myself out where... Oh, fuck's sakes. I can be hit by three of those guys. Come on, rats. Good hit. Well done, the ghost blades. First mission in the bag. I'm surprised how it's actually more difficult than I thought, Four starting at level five. What to find, mighty warband? All, all die, die. Let leave no survivor me to. Warband grows strong, great. If listen, follow, wise filch. Light wound, fair enough. Uh, so, what did you get? Broken jaws, uh, leadership, and maximum leadership. That's fine. 
Uh, base wound value. No, we'll, we'll fire and replace him. He's level zero, so it doesn't matter. Some blue clothing. Excellent. And a blue helmet. Awesome. Let's give that straight to the leader. So all of my heroics are going to go straight for level nine weapon skill. So we can get level two swarm. And then we'll just max accuracy. Hit chance increased to plus 10. Awesome. Let me just see one thing on the campaign map. When are new, new heroes... shipment has been requested. When are new heroes available? New hired swords. Four Fluchtzeit. On the next day. So actually, let's just wait and see what we get. Night Runner has a rubbish weapon skill, but that's uh, maybe skill wise. Art of Silent Death requires six accuracy. We'll take that first and then we'll go to nine weapon skill. New hired swords are available. Right. A rank 2 ogre. Nice, but I'd have to sell some things. Does he have any injuries? None. I think we go ahead and buy him straight up. He can attack three times. He can dodge. Okay, can we get ourselves up to 616? So the hunting rifle we'll never use. The spear I could use. I think it's more important we get ourselves a nice big old ogre. Yeah, boy! Look at that strength. Straight for 15 strength, and then we'll max agility. Leadership. How much leadership does he need for level 2 insults? 12 leadership. And then he needs... Uh, he's not going to use Art of Silent Death. He will use Swarm. So he's already got the nine weapon skill he needs for that. That's fine. So just accuracy then. Four unspent skill points. I think it has to be a void. Okay, damn. Don't have the agility for it. Ah, Og. Oh well. What strength passives can I get? That could be quite good. Ambush attacks. No. Chance of charge attacks. I don't think he can use heavy armor. Cloth, amulet, pendant. Okay, only cloth armor. I think I'll take insult. Accuracy wise, what good passives are there with accuracy? Deep wounds, hit damage, range damage, two or more enemies. I think that's going to be really good because his items don't have a lot of dodge or parry chance. I think weak spot's going to be important for the Rat Ogre. Dodge and parry bypass up to 15. I think it's going to be really good. Auto Silent Death. Black Hunger. Maybe a, a good toughness skill could be quite good to resist poison. It's got plenty already. Stun resistance. Wait, what's his crit resistance? Base wound value could be quite really, really good. But now with 15 agility, he's going to get a super high dodge value eventually. When fleeing, nope, he's not going to be fleeing. Resist magic is tempting. But that's a cheap skill. I think let's go for... Again, weak spot is quite cheap. But that is what I need though. Uh, none of these are particularly good. Perception, whatever. Ambush attacks, whatever. 
range resistance. It's only 11. That could be quite important. Awareness, melee resistance. Initiative could be very good. Nope. Insult. We need insult. And strength wise, none of these are that good. I don't want any active attacks. I'm just going to be using his normal attacks. Sweet. That is a big lad. Oh, okay, so I can't give him gray skin. Well, give him stitches. Ooh, scars. Pimples. Ooh. I like the scars. That's <laughs> a big boy. Let's give him a go. We'll leave the night runners behind. Bam. And then we need one more of these lads. If I could just get six more gold, we can get, actually get a level one. Uh, hmm. I want all that stuff. Fuck it. Bugman's is worth it for the extra level up guy. Nice, okay. Strength and leadership, weapon skill, and then accuracy. Oh, no skill points, fair enough. All right, Ghost Blades. Good first mission. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it sucks that one of the rats got knocked down. What are you going to do? We got 61 weight of Wordstone from the first mission, which I think is really good. Kelbear's creep is 0-2. I'm looking at his skill points. Okay, friends, when we come back, let's take these lads out. Uh, what other weapons do we have? I want to use... Here we go. Dual wielding. Oh, that's right. I've got the blue clothing and the blue... Helmet for the leader. Warplock pistols. Five range skill. I think this is the lad to give it to. Nice. We've got a spare helmet. Can that be given to the rat ogre, I wonder? Whoa, we came with a blue pendant. That's awesome. I think these lads have got a helmet. No helmet. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. This is episode one of the Ghost Blades Skaven playthrough. As I said, in the co please let me know if you want to join in the comments. Give me a nice vermin or a Skaven themed name, and I'll add you to the campaign. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.